last night obviously Chelsea 2 Arsenal 4 and um, another game where we've conceded loads of goals at home um, same problems as always uh, really poor errors at the back and um, yeah, giving goals away and Arsenal obviously punished us last night with um, some clinical finishing and um, yeah like I said errors Christensen first goal what are you doing just clear it do you know what I mean like just trying to mess about. Second goal, just poor, easy for Smith Wright. Third goal, lucky, but Sars got to clear it. And then fourth goal, what are you doing, Dave? But all in all, we're, we're in trouble. And um, yeah, Arsenal deserved the win. And um, yeah, fair play to them. They played well and they knew that to win and they did win. So yeah, pressure is on with the top four race now and especially. With a tough couple games coming up, West Ham at home on Sunday and then Man United away, which I've got tickets for today. So, should be going to that one, fingers crossed. But, um, yeah, tough couple games. And if we do lose to West Ham, the pressure we're on going to United, especially if Arsenal beat the likes of Man United and then Spurs win their game against Brentford, pressure's right on us. But, I've got to stand up to the challenge. Um yeah, and most importantly, last night showed that some of the players just aren't good enough for the club. We knew it already. The likes of Christiansen, yeah, whatever. See you later, mate. You've, you you can go to Barca. Do you know what I mean? We're not worried at the moment with him. Um, so, poor, poor, poor performance. Honestly, so poor. Like I've never seen the fans turn on players so much. And the point I want to get into is Romelu Lukaku. What is happening? It just looks worse and worse every time he plays. Like He gets his opportunity. Arsenal, he knows he can bully him. He bullied him in the first game when we beat him 2-0. And in that game, we all thought, all right, here we go. We could actually do something this season. And um, it just hasn't planned out as we expected. And he just he isn't good enough. Havertz came on and within a minute or two, he done more than Lukaku did in the whole game, which just sums up how poor his performances was. And, um, yeah, why Havertz is starting at the moment. So, um, yeah, problems in the attacking area. And it's another game where we don't look like scoring. I know we scored two, but let's be real. One was a deflection and one was probably a foul from Mason Mount, if we're honest. And, um, yeah... And when we go behind, we just never look like second half. We never look like scoring. And I kept saying they look like likely to score next. And it, it just happened, like Brentford. And, um, yeah, like I said, 10 goals conceded. No, sorry, 11 goals conceded in three games. And yeah, that's just not acceptable, considering we've just we've hardly conceded a goal route like that. Under two, you know what I mean? Like every game, we're getting zero or one, and um, yeah, for it to be three and fours at the moment, it's not good. And um, yeah, with West Ham on the horizon, it calls in a problem. Um, we know West Ham's threat, but all we can hope is that they're focusing on the Europa League, but it might spur them on if they can win, if they can get a bit of confidence, and um, yeah, they'll want their starting place in the side against Frankfurt, but um. Let's see what happens. You've got to go to West Ham and win. Well, sorry, we've got to beat West Ham at home. And then if we do, we should be all right. But if we do lose, then pressure is well and truly on going into the next couple. And um, yeah, well, we've got a nice little break now. A few days off to get back. And um, yeah, he's got to pick his first team against West Ham. Um, Rudiger's the one that's the worry, though. He's obviously picked up a calf injury so hopefully it's not too bad and he could be back for the West Ham game but Tuchel did say there's a chance he might miss out which does cause a problem because who's going to play next to Silva 
Like defensively, we're just so poor at the moment, and it needs to be fixed. And if it does, we'd be alright for top four. But if West Ham fucking turn a couple goals against us, we could be in real trouble of missing out in top four. Simple as that. But we've got to pick ourselves up, get top four, and then go to that cup final. And hopefully do them lot up north. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. Up the chills, we keep going. I'll see you for match day vlog, West Ham. I'm going to the Fury fight the night before, so yeah, I'm probably going to be really tired and hangover, but it's all worth it. Fury fight, West Ham at home, Man United away on Thursday, and then Everton away next Sunday. So yeah, a busy couple days, but all worth it. Up the chills, let's do it. Let's keep going. And um, yeah, start Havertz and Werner up top against West Ham and we're in business. Up the chills, come on.